A lot of us are under the assumption that there's only one thing out there that can be our passion, that it's predetermined by birth, and that all we have to do is find it. But that's not how it works. The truth of the matter is that there's probably many, many things that could potentially be your passion. In fact, it's entirely possible to have more than one passion. If you take a look at a lot of very successful people, you'll find that this is generally the case. For example, Tim Ferriss is a well-known author and speaker. But did you know that he was also a competitive dancer, wrestler, and investor? There's only two things you need to do in order for you to discover one of your passions. The first is that you must change where you get your dopamine from. Dopamine is the chemical that is released by our brain that motivates us to do things. Without it, you will literally starve to death even if there was food right in front of you. The release of dopamine is also accompanied by pleasure. The problem nowadays is that dopamine is very easy to get. It's cheap and it's abundant everywhere. We had to do stuff in order to get that dopamine. And most of the time, that meant creating something. You had to build a house. You had to create a nice piece of pottery. You had to go out and tend to your crops. While you worked on these tasks, you were flooded with dopamine and you felt good about the whole process. If you followed this route, you'd naturally become passionate about whatever it is that you did. But nowadays, it's a little bit different. We can now flood our brain with dopamine without having to do much at all. You can surf the web, you can binge watch some TV shows, you can order amazing foods for your front door almost instantaneously. And methods like this have become the main sources of dopamine for the majority of people. Now, what's different about these sources of dopamine as compared to the ones we used to get it from? Well, these are forms of consumption, and the ones we used to use are forms of creation. And this is a very important distinction. In order for some Something to be your passion, it must stem from creation. If you get the majority of your dopamine from a form of consumption, do you know what we call that? We call that an addiction. You're addicted to watching TV. You're addicted to smoking cigarettes. You're addicted to eating junk food. But on the other hand, if we get the majority of our dopamine from a form of creation, that's called the passion. You're passionate about drawing. You're passionate about dancing. You're passionate about farming. So the first and most important thing you have to do in order to find your passion is to turn back your consumption valve. Watch less TV, play less video games, eat less junk food. When you turn back your consumption valve, you force yourself to start looking for dopamine from forms of creation. This is crucial 